Good afternoon once again. My name is Daya Omogun and um, I am the host of The Polity this afternoon, uh, your darling program coming to you from the Abuja studio of Kaftan Television. And as usual, we're talking about something that's trending in the political space in Nigeria right now. Uh, specifically, we'll be talking about the intervention uh, over the weekend by the former military head of state as well as former president, elected president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Aremu Okikiola Matthew Obasanjo, uh, who at the weekend uh, dropped something you could call a bombshell, uh, calling the situation of Nigeria a state capture and uh, that Nigeria is uh, the, the failing state of the nation uh, is becoming quite apparent, quite manifest. And uh, that hasn't gone down well in certain quarters, of course. And of course, in maybe around the entire country, there will be places where this does not resonate well. Uh, this is, is, is natural that there will be two sides uh, to this kind of um, issue. But today we want to look at when matters like this happen, should we concentrate on the message or the messenger? Which one is more important? And, and, and as I begin, uh, before I get to my guest this afternoon, if you get a madman who tells you that your uh, trouser is gaping, would you rather focus on his madness? Or would you take a cue from what he has said to check yourself so that you are not naked? Which, what, which one is more important? If you find someone that you could describe as a, a failure, because I have believed, I've always believed and I've said severally that you can be successful by learning from a failure. You can be wise by learning from the foolish. So it doesn't matter. For me, I think that many times we really need to uh, relegate the messenger to the background and see what the quality, the depth, the usefulness, the relevance of his message, message is. But well, I'll be talking to my guest, and from that, from this point, we we'll take it, we we'll do it together. And of course, at uh, as a certain point, we invite you to also call in on the show. Uh, the number to call in with is zero eight zero two nine nine three eight three six five, and then um, we expect that you would have uh, thought over this um, first words which I have spoken, and you would have a stand and that you will articulate your stand very excellently when the opportunity comes. Once again, my, my name is Dario Mogun, and my guest this afternoon is Ambassador Moses Kolawole Obisheson. He's a serial entrepreneur, he's a public affairs analyst, he's a real estate consultant, he's also a politician. But these days, I don't know whether he doesn't <laughs> want to uh, show that side of him. Of course, uh, most people are people of several sides there are several sides to him yeah. uh, so it might depend on which one he wants to uh, <laughs> come Push into forward, exactly yeah. at any point in time so you're welcome ambassador obisheson thank you very much for having me yeah. good to have you once again thanks thanks it's like good to have you all the time <laughs> <laughs> i mean now <laughs> now so um you guys already know him and you can be sure that um, as much as possible as uh, as much as lies in his capacity, he will do justice to whatever is put before him. And um, I can, I do not want to guarantee because we're all humans at some point, you never can say when people veer off objectivity and go into subjectivity <laughs> or any such thing. So, but I think that thus far, he has shown himself a very objective analyst. And um, let's see what, what happens even from this moment. So, we have a situation where. Uh, the former military head of state and um, former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusha Gomba Sanjo, uh, said some things uh, in a lecture that he delivered in the U.S. Yeah, at the Yale University in Connecticut, uh, uh, in, the, in the United States of America over the weekend, uh, saying that um, we have a situation of a state capture. Uh, state capture, by the way, uh, maybe I should... Uh, try to do a kind of a definition. State capture is a situation where particular private interests um, um, uh, have the power, are, are well positioned in the power hierarchy that they 
make whatever policies they make, whatever things that they do, are, pr are, pr are primarily centered towards ministering to their personal and private interests. That's what state capture means. So it's like these individuals have captured the state and they do, they using the state resources, they do whatever they do to meet their own private aspirations uh, as a matter of a priority. Uh, every other thing follows. So that's what state capture is. And it's also saying that the failing state uh, 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 syndrome, if you like, of the nation has become more apparent than ever before. So now, let me see. Let me let's let's start this way. When a message comes, which one is more important uh, between you and I? Uh, the, the message may be stinging. It may be. It may not be very comfortable. But the point is, which one is more important? Is it the message, or is it the messenger? Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, I think we need to get to a point as a country where we where we see the importance of feedback hmm. some people some organization you know what they pay to for get feedbacks. feedback if they they will tell you look can you quickly just send us your feedback about what about our donors Products. about our services about our whatever and we will give you xyz benefit the reward you know for just doing that you see until we get to that point where you have people who are who don't have so much to benefit when i say so much to benefit they are, they are, they are not, don't it doesn't depend on yes yeah. they, they, they are not doing this for lip service they, it's not because they want you to make them um, a minister or give them cabinet or give them mm. a or anything mm. they are going to tell you that this is what we see because you see everybody will see the outside from the window through which is looking at it that is that's it and so know. when you now have a person as big you know, as notable, as tall as the former president, Obisha Gumbasojo, I think it should have been a beautiful thing for the current administration to have taken, to have soaked it in, to say, you know what? Okay. So in the first instance, you yes. don't even see him as a bad messenger no 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 as he's not well, a bad messenger well, the message this is the best messenger you can have with someone who has been there i'm, I'm telling exactly. you so someone because who has been there is he qualified to do what he's doing fantastically qualified he's been the pre a president in fact he is more qualified than most people he's yeah. been a, a general military head of state so you understand the pulse of the military yes and whether we forgot in a hurry he is the first man that received the the the, the nation's guide from the uh, the past military uh yeah, rulers yeah so he understands their pain he understands their frustration he understands so much about what the military's expectation of the military on one side now he's also the one that actually you know midwife from military to the civilian current civilian regime that we have about 20 25 26 no, even, even the one in in, in 79 yeah, yeah. in 79 the, the, the same is the one that made, made, so, made so, so for me if you ask me how it, it doesn't get better mm. i know because again what we really want to gain by saying things to bring down the country what just tell me what are you what do you think you want to gain so that people will say ah okay this no it's done it's past it's gone Initially, there was a time when he was a member of PDP, but he has renounced everything. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm, no yes. I'm no longer in any party. Yes. I'm no longer in any party. I just want to be another statesman that look at everything dispassionately and look at what PDP is doing, look at what Labour is doing, look at what APC is doing, look at the entire place and say, you know what? I think this is the way to go. All right. Now, when you have such person give you an advice, I, I saw your your intro when you are saying should we take the message of the messenger in this instance? Yeah. Both the messenger and the messenger are fantastic. Right. I okay. tell you. Okay. So if you had, you know, like you have a multiple, more multiple, multi, multiple choice uh, questions, and yeah. then you have the alternatives. Yeah. Now, uh, a, a, a a disconstruction of of um, Obasanjo, yeah. and you have a. Um, an unnecessary uh, meddlesome interloper, uh, cum um, rabble rouser, uh, mischief maker, 
who gets involved in every um, government uh, trying to display an I do know attitude. That's A. That's option A. Option B, a necessary voice of conviction that is required to constantly, regularly conscientize the nation in order that the nation remains uh, stable and yeah. progressive. Yeah. What of course, B, B describes him. All right. He doesn't describe the passage. What we what need just what you see, there are some there are some public, you know, analysts and some political jobbers who maybe needs appointment, they want to they want look the worst thing a leader can have as the book uh, bootlickers. Bootlickers. Psychophants. Psychophants. That's the worst that you can have because they're all around you telling you how all is well, how rank are they, they, everything is going on well. But you need somebody who can damn you know your, the relationship i know that obasanjo has got his own excesses yeah sure. sometimes i know that yeah. one because you know he often must check his background he's a military guy he's somebody that don't feel like just say the way it is and move on whether you like it or not then you now start picking the one you like there and all of that i know but i tell you that he will be and he continues to be he has he has been he and he continue to be a key informant of the government of the day. He's not just doing it for this government. He's done it in the past. All through. Yes. All so through. you can't now say, oh, because he, because I know that you know, other soldiers and that you must also. They've had their them. issues. They've had their issues now, yeah. in, the, in the past when yeah. other soldiers held and uh, held on to the local government yeah. allocations yeah. for yeah. for Tinubu in Lagos and yeah. all that, and Tinubu felt frustrated and so it was a back and forth. But you know something, as at that time, people are unable to look at things and analyze the way it is. Obasanjo was, as at that time, a national figure. In fact, maybe they forgot to go and check. Obasanjo felt like Obasanjo didn't pay them. That they felt that he was just he was just looking at the national good, but he wasn't looking at the state. The state, good. exactly. Even in his own state. Fact, when he finished, there was some particular. There's a road. There's a road that connects. That connects to the and and Ogo. Yes. And people like right. people say felt very terrible. Very terrible. That we had a president for eight years. Yes. But that's the error that some other presidents, or at least one of them. No, we may call it error, but let me look at it. I think that I, you see. I also agree with his very nationalistic tendency. Correct, yeah. But at the same time, you see, the small makes the big. Correct. The big is a composition of the small. Yeah, correct. So, even as you put on the, um, the, the, the cap of the national, yeah. it's important to also remember. Uh, he, he will look back sometimes. Yeah. He will, yeah. I, I, I see a little that we have done better. Yes, should have done better. Well, I won't yeah. call it error. I rather call it, look, that is the imperfection of people. man yeah okay because if he gets everything right and everything so what what are you going to he look back and say oh really i should have just done that yeah exactly just that's not one good time i am i am you look like i don't want to say that's one good time how could the president get the yes and I'm come back. on man but that tells you that he wasn't ready there to for him to favor some other area yeah. where some other person did they, they become president they, they will bring all of the projects to the adjusted true and you see them everywhere, yeah, and yeah. you wonder why they are. They, they, I mean, it's, it's, it's justifiable. It's justifiable okay. because, because you see again, again, the wisdom in that is that you have no guarantee that the next person will take care of it, and so, and you may not have the 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 the, the moral justification to complain, yeah. seeing that you had had the opportunity you and you didn't do it. So that's that's the that's it. 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 The fantastic day. attention. Correct. Hospital, airstrip, yep. all kinds everything, of all kinds of things. Yeah. They can, it can, I mean, this impact there is permanent because yeah. you see, governments from for till forever will continue to maintain these facilities. Yeah. And so, I think that much as you want to be national in school, yeah. Yeah. you must also think of you as you think globally. I think that. He too will think back sometimes and yeah. say, "No, I missed this. I yeah. should have done this." Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong in making, giving it one of the best roads, so yeah. that when you even travel home, you say, "I, I, I think it's true." Yeah, <laughs> you know, for sure. Yeah, I, sure, I, 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 I think so. Yeah. I think so. Oh. So, 
now let's so so you say that both the message and the, the message are fantastic. Are fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Are fantastic. Yeah. So it, it's a it's a it's a thing that we must help our the, we must conscientize our people to look for good feedbacks. And the way to see good feedback is you first of all ask what does he want. Okay. What does yes, what does this you see? There are some persons who will what say is his, his, what is his motive? Yes, what is his motive? What does he want to do? What is his motive? Because if he was doing it so that his political his party, party can, can we, yeah, then you know, uh, what, what, what will he say before he was doing it for his party? If he was also doing it so that maybe when he campaigns, he can be the next person. Oh, he's trying to actually use this place to campaign. You, know, you have to check, or maybe you oh, want to actually secure. Uh, ministry appointment because I've seen several persons they said quite a number of things. Then in the twilight, they said, Okay, you know what? You know how to talk. I can see that you can talk. <laughs> <Take an appointment. laughs> and the person just jumped at him with all the good hand. And I said, Oh, so all of this uh, was, was, was meant to was be meant to achieve this, <laughs> you know. So for me, I think again, even the handlers of the president mm. sincerely need to be very careful. It's so, so you're part. saying that. Um, it's important for every nation, yep. maybe every group. Correct. You can you can trickle tri 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 it yeah. down to Correct. every association, every yeah. group, every family it needs to have a voice that they listen to, Correct. Yeah, or a set of voices yeah. that, uh, in spite of uh, the the pain of whatever truth, Correct. because truth can be painful yeah. or, or bitter. Yeah. No matter how bitter the truth that they disseminate, yeah. they should at least. Um, but okay, now you have said yes to yeah. that. Correct. Could, it, could the problem be the method Obasanjo chooses to deliver these messages? For example, um, I don't know which one of the uh, presidents, was it Buhari, the first time he hit Buhari, I think. I think the handlers of Buhari were cross that, look, this one has access to the president. He's, he's a senior military of, uh, general. He's been there as president. It's just a, a matter of a call. Or, okay, I want to come and see you. And then all was clear and, yeah. and all that. And then he could do some of these things. Rather than put them in the public glare, he could do them privately. And then it will be more, they will be more receptive. The government of the day will be more receptive to that kind of thing than that the thing is in the public domain, like, um, like, um, like putting someone's nakedness on the street. Okay, I will tell you something. There, there is a for and against. There is um, pros and cons for whichever one he chooses. If yeah. I come over to you and speak to you in private, there is there is the good side of it. Yeah. There is also the shortfall of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If, if I also go in the public to address certain matter, mm -hmm. there is a good side. There is a there is a consequence, uh, consequential, you know, whatever. Now, I'll tell you something. He was addressing things that has to do not just with Timumbu. Yes. But something that has to do with the nation. Sure, yeah. And he knows that if he had gone to the president, the president would have heard it. But there are some other persons that he want to caution out there. To who are actually the same, taking at the same time. Yes, at the same time. Who are actually taking undue advantage of this great country for their for their businesses and for I mean some of their activities and all of that. So the president looks at it and says Man, that's an unfair ad advantage there. That's this, that's that. And he, he saw all of them and said, you know what? I'm just going to address this matter frontally. I have nothing to lose. I have some, if I die now, nobody will say I, have, I, I died too, too early. And if, if nothing, that, there's really nothing about Sojo size and stature is looking for again than, yeah. to, than to help the country, than to help to governize the country and make sure that all is all is well. Yeah, sure. So, if they are, if, because the, of course there, there have been certain things that would have, have spoken with Tinubu privately. So, it could be, it, it, it is possible, yeah, it is that possible that he's trying to have access. Had access. those channels yeah. before, it wasn't effective, yeah. he didn't yeah. see the design. It may not necessarily even be in this particular regime. Correct. He may have done that in previous regimes and Correct. he noticed that, oh, Correct. it didn't bear any fruit. Yeah. So, he just decides, okay, every time I have something to say now yeah. i just say it yeah. uh, to the media correct it, it, it's very possible that it's very possible and i just want to i want to tell you see when you when you are looking for feedbacks any channel will be interesting to you hmm. when you are when you are deliberately looking for feedback feedbacks that some other persons pay to have you don't understand when i tell people let me let me give you an instance the most difficult thing to tell a friend is that the, the guy has body odor or mouth odor correct how do you tell a friend 
It's so, easier to tell an enemy. Yeah, an enemy. I look at you. You that way. It, it's easier. So when I when I choose to say, "Hi, guy," I know you. You need to be able to really clean up this uh, whatever, mm -hmm. or or use perfume and all of that a lot more. Yeah. I'm putting my my relationship on, on the, the line. line. Yeah. Because you could say, ah, ah, what does he think? Is it because you have the money or because of... No, you're my friend. And it takes a friend to tell a friend. These are <laughs> very difficult messages. Right. So, I but see... But even in personal relationships, you know how it, difficult that it, is. It is. Which is the point you're making. It, it, it's very difficult. So, so it's right. You know, rather just avoid it and just go away. In fact, even husband and wife, if the if husband doesn't know how to tell the wife very carefully, or the wife very, it, will, it, will cause, it will cause issue. Talk less of just friends. So when I tell people, when you see, when you hear anybody say certain things that are really, the, it, what you call the, the truth is bitter. Yeah. When, when, they, when you're able to tell you that, sit back and look, analyze it. And say, okay, why is he saying this? Okay, is it that you want to undermine my government? Because some persons can very easily say, oh, you know that he supported another, another candidate, person, yeah. another candidate, because his candidate did not win, he won a uh, weaken me and all of that. No, Obasanjo is gone beyond that. Because you understand that the man in the saddle must succeed to that extent. For so the, that the other person, everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody, whoever comes after him will now have easier way to go. Exactly. But it's not for you, ah, I must pull him down. No, we finish with politics. Governance is what we have right now. Yeah. And let all hands be on deck. How can we make the most of Ashiraju's governance? So anybody that is saying anything should be, how can we make the most of it? And making the most, where people, people think it is pressing them that make the most no <laughs> the most look the most valuable thing you will get are those ones that actually criticize you to tell you yes because there are a few there are a few things that um, um, um Tinubu has done that are fantastic right but there are others that those who i may not be able to see it from my own window but someone else who is taller who is, is able to see you know when you yeah, fly a drone when yeah. you fly a drone the way you see this your building is different. different from when i just go in front of it and just take a shot pa, pa. yeah i can't see so much but when you fly wow look at the beauty from the top and all of that that is the kind of those are these are the kind of feedbacks that you get from a man like this i think we need to start embracing and celebrating our people if he says anything and you guys don't okay i noted it doesn't cost a million. We look at it and see the ones that we can. That's all. But that uh, is just this is me, whatever. I'm doing okay, your okay. time. Okay, so so we will get we will get to those responses. We'll yeah. get there. First of all, so you believe that um, the response? I mean, this interview. I'm sorry, this intervention is timely, or is I mean, is very timely. It's something that the government needs right now. What the uh, now, now there, there are things in the in the intervention yeah. that I would rather that um, that Obasanjo should have waited a little bit, okay, or find find a more uh, uh, conducive way to be able to say it. Now, and I'll tell you that straight away. Out of every other thing that he said, there's really no no issues about them. Just take it and see how to. When we talk about state capture, I tell you really we have state capture very clearly very clearly because there's there's a few there are in, in my fingers i can count a few individuals who really are benefiting massively from the from the policies and from the actions of the government of the day some some some, the, some, some, who, some, some who have no uh, official Positions or designations, but yeah. by filial, yeah. by 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 reason of uh, cronyism yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh, so, so there are quite a number of them like that. So, addressing them frontally and openly, I don't have issues with that. Right. The one I have issues with is for you to say failing state is a very is a very sensitive. I know that because of his military background. No, no, and but all of that. I'll tell you something. Okay. You see, when you say that, you, is a, you send you 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 send a jitter to to the old system to because the, some people to mm, the entire, to the entire yeah it, because, in fact to the entire world yeah people, because some people are already thinking you know is nigeria surviving or is it getting better or is it not whatever when a man like that that's touch of that stature says a things like that a thing like that he, he comes oh okay we were thinking about that we thought we were wrong but he has validated yes, also, it. Yeah. You know, he has actually corroborated. So I expected that he would have been a whole lot more very careful in making such pronouncement. For, for, for because no other one has capacity to bring down the government. No other thing that he has said. Corruption, 
It's just for you to just challenge the guy and say, look, for corruption, you know what? These are the indexes. These are the things where, I mean, where it was before. These are, and people can see it. Mo very a lot. Look at even the new, the new entrant into the system. Talking about uh, uh, vote buying. Okay. Before I'm going to pass over, we were in here in vote there buying. Was, a, but right now, had other yeah, we had other ways by which it was done, but it was not sufficiently captured as vote buying. No, no, you had even box, uh, bear, box, 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 box matching. And we had so many other things, <laughs> you know, that, that plagued him as a data. Yeah. So when anybody sit back and give you whatever, so for me, if you look at the thing holistically, there, there are certain things that are spot on. They are beautiful, but there are other ones that I think ah. This one should have been <laughs> this one should have been omitted here and now actually have maybe like if you are in say in the council of states mm. if you say you are you are having one on one with uh, whatever and, they, and you come up you know maybe you know in, in some sometimes you see some of those past leaders abdul salami and the rest of them they will just visit the president and when they come out oh, the press want to grab them they say no, no, I, no comment. I only have private uh, whatever with the president concerning the state of the nation and i think it went well so what you're saying in essence yeah. is that he needs to use both methods correct that sometimes he can go this way that he went yeah. and sometimes it he needs to, to get a private correct. Uh, private correct. accessory both both are very very important especially for a man of his stature because a man of his stature is so many not only in the country but he reverberates around the world about no, 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 how you describe the country now for you you have said that a whole lot of those issues as far as you're concerned are spot on correct now but if you see the response from the presidency yeah they the book no they they, they they have spent no space for any of them it for example they have taken the what they have what they have chosen to do is to take each item and say in your own time did you not do worse and all that and all that there was yeah, a so, mistake they are making that. so 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 i'm saying if he chooses if he chooses to say some privately then he may lose don't you think he may lose that um chance of saying all that publicly because it would be like you had the opportunity you came to us at a time like this you came to us at a time like this and we, we granted your audience why would you not go and do this so i think that the it might it must be that the man has done some of these things before Correct. and he just feels that he doesn't want to be held in a in a, in a, a, in a trap city, yeah. in, a, in a kind of a trap so okay. i mean whether he says one or one outside and says nine inside that one that he says outside will still generate this kind of anger this kind of emotion this kind of for, uh, for, for uh, me for so me again also i think um, um the handlers of the president the aides of mr president i think she, they really need to be a whole lot more okay so so let's 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 a lot more between sure. yesterday and today we have had from onanuga we have had from sunday diary yeah. on the same matter yeah and both of them were in fact by my own they were vicious yeah the the the, the, the words the, yeah. the, um, as they were they were really hard yeah yeah but so i'm asking do you think that that's the way it ought to be totally wrong let me let me give you an instance now now right now you can begin to make your calls yeah. the number to call is zero eight zero two nine nine three eight three six five and um, let's have your uh take on this matter it's on the screen already and so please like we say all the time let's observe the rules that you keep the volume of your tv set low and that you uh, move away from your tv set and that as much as possible maybe put down the key points of your discussion of your contribution down so we can help you to articulate uh, those points well and so you can have a, a ceaseless uh, a seamless flow uh, you won't have to ramble you won't have to spend too much time because we have uh, we're going to be giving just maybe one minute each so we can have as many persons uh, call I'll, 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 I'll throw you something you know uh, when um, when they are comparing this time with Obasa just time these are two different um should i say um uh, focal points if let's let's take it right there now yeah if we say there are two different focal points yeah um they have pointed out that and it's in the public domain anyway yeah. that 16 billion dollars yeah meant for power yeah. sector yeah. till today we do not know the whereabouts of that money yeah we do not have any assets to 
to represent that money. Correct. We have continued to suffer yeah. uh, uh, epileptic power yeah. supply and all that and all that. And so if he talks about corruption and he says it's affecting all these sectors, yeah. uh, so t show me the difference. Okay, I'll tell you the difference. You see, when Obasanjo came in, all that we're looking out for is to permanently stamp out, to permanently, you, you want to take it? Yeah, yeah, let me take this. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. No, Good this. Afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah, your name, your name, and where are you calling from, sir? I am Eda Ajigbemi. I'm calling from Abeokuta, Logo State. Oh, thank you very much. First of all, I must thank you because you have observed rule number one and number two. The, the 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 connection is clear you, you have reduced the volume of your tv set you have moved away big up right yeah, let's hear you now I, let's I hear you a, now I'm, I'm, i am an old caller okay old so you already <laughs> understand <laughs> it <laughs> my colleague my colleague is my friend it's your friend all right okay okay so let's go now uh, thank you yeah where uh in, in this country because of position, we don't know how to talk to our elders. Hmm. We don't know how to talk to those who know more than us. Hmm. My Obasanjo was formerly head of state of this Nigeria, military head of state. And as a military man, he will start the job as maybe a private or yeah. a second lieutenant. And he rose through. That deserve a, a that deserve his own respect as a military personnel. With his experience, I don't think any any Nigerian anybody supposed to talk to him anyhow. The way they are talking to Obasanjo as a ex military man, they cannot talk to chief of army staff. They are chief of army staff like that. Hmm. They cannot just talk to. Uh, Chief of Defense Staff, like that. And, and those people, they are children to Obasanjo. Obasanjo is the first, uh, uh, in this dispensation, is the first civilian president. Yeah. He knows what, what, he, what he has done. People that know what he has done know what he has done. We will not, because of politics, we, 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 we don't respect ourselves. Whatever Obasa Obasa John might have said is what he has known before, is what he has seen. I'm expecting my, my president to forget about politics. Obasa John and uh, uh, our president, they, 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 they are brothers. You're supposed to know how to go closer to Obasa John. There is nothing wrong here. If you go closer to Abbas Ajo about what happened, what happened, what passed, has passed, how about that like, you will go to Twitch? It's better than uh, uh, every day children like uh, Sunday Dari talking to Abbas Ajo, Sunday Dari. When Abbas Ajo was head of state, I don't know where Sunday Dari will be. Well, all uh, what we are doing is the policy very soon, all of them will live there after eight years. Then we will know what we have done. Thank you very much. I apologize to this government. So please take Obasanjo as, as as a respected person. Even in Africa, they do respect Obasanjo. We have to respect Obasanjo, whatever he might have said. Thank you, Elder Adigbori. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. I guess we take this, sir. Yeah. Hello. Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You're welcome. I am I am Dr. Fatu Roti, like from Malaysia. Fatu Roti. Mm. Did I get that? Yes, sir. All right, you're welcome. Please let's have your take. Yes. Uh, I think what is wrong in what of us and your is the issue of going as far as uh, another country to say your your, your country is a failing state as an elder man you don't say that when the country is still struggling to invite the investors 
Doctor, can I? Doctor, can I quickly ask you something? That is the fact. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, you said the the wrong in what he did was in going to say it abroad. Now, if he had said it, yes. if he had said it in Nigeria, at a time where we operate in a global village, wouldn't wouldn't this still have gone around the entire world? That would have been a different kettle of fish. Even if you have said that in Nigeria, as an elderly person, you do, there, are, there are certain things you should not say. You don't, you don't, don't go into the open to say Nigeria is a failing state. Uh -uh. So, so are you saying it would have been better for him to approach the president on that? One on one. Yes, now there are, there are many ways of killing a lad. Mm. If we had gone to the president to tell him that if the president didn't take to it, that's the president tells you of it, that's the problem. This kind of state meeting that was there, how many times has the president has taken council of meetings? He will never be there. He will never be there. Go and check the record. He doesn't attend council of state meeting. And I said this issue at hand without apology to anybody. He has a serial motive. Because it's a man that you can't you know, you know, condemn every government. He condemn Yaradua, he condemn Jonathan, he condemn Buhari, he condemn Nebuah. Who is good in our side? All right, doctor, we'll have to leave it he here. No government that is good. He has never commended any government. Ah, uh -uh, is it so bad? Nigeria made him now. Nigeria made our side. He didn't make himself. Hmm. Yes, you didn't make me tell. I just made you. All right, doctor. Doctor, we now need to go now. We need to go to the next caller. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Yes. Say, I didn't hear. All right. Now, so um, you heard doctor there, and you heard the uh, elder Digbomi. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. The same thing that I identified that this particular one, mm. talking about failing state, yeah. shouldn't have been said in the public. You 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 joke okay. people unnecessarily mm. you, you that's not what you want to do it is the negative that you get. Now all right, all right, all right, hold your thoughts. Yeah. We get back after this um after this break and then thereafter we continue. Welcome back, dear viewers, and um, we've been having a scintillating time here uh, with my guests and callers out there uh, who have been making very fantastic, very rich contributions. And I expect that you also will be part of this. And I'll quickly take this call. Yeah. Hello? 
Hello, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Mr. Richard. All right. I'm from, I'm from Delta State of Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, sir. For me, I will hack the speaker with you there. I'll give him a good news. Oba Senjo, during his military regime, I think everybody enjoys the country. That's why they are corruption then. Then, as at present now, to the political transition we are facing in the country now, how is the every sector of offices in Nigeria filled? So they should listen to the intervention, what Obasanjo is saying now. Because 10 years ago, Obasanjo project is now, is now Obasanjo then. They should think properly, most men handling the system of the government parasitic offices. They should have the fear of God from what they are doing now because their shit has been born. If you watch what is going on in the country now, so many people are calling education scam because of what is mm. going on in the country. If you watch the way the headsmen are bringing people in the northern states without the military intervention, if you watch what is going on in Delta State and River State, causing a lot of things during the period of passenger where they are military regime, these things are not occurring, these are not going on. So for me now, they should listen very carefully. Because if we don't be careful, Nigeria will be enraged. Mm. And well, you not. remember what Lelolet Ujuku said before he died. Instead of us to de deceiving ourselves, let us split and go. If you watch the reasons that Lelolet Ujuku said... We need to leave it here now. At this point, uh, I, I do, we don't expect that you call to... Uh, talk about his speech. Yeah. Now, so, um, like you were saying, you also, uh, Doctor Fatuoti, uh, really uh, made your point. I mean, sort of give your point some uh, uh, emphasis when he said that that part of it should not have been said in the open. Correct. Yeah. So, but well, after this call, then we'll talk about it. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Awusko from Nasarawa Kaduna. Awusko, you're welcome. Thank you very much, my brother. One day you will tell us the full meaning of that Awusko. Go ahead and let's <laughs> let's have your contribution. You see, Obasanjo is the conscience of the nation. Okay. Obasanjo is the standing rock among the fully Nigerian, uh, fully Nigerian state men. That have not compromised. He has turned it time to tell our leaders the truth. He told Buhari the truth, Buhari did not comply, and he led Nigeria in this eighteen is of indigenous rule. I'm calling on Tinibu to listen to the voice of reason. What of us are saying is true. Nigerians are suffering. Our democracy is dying. Our uh, democracy is getting narrowing. Only a few people. Government of the few for the few and friends and family. Mm. And you are not enjoying the dividends of democracy. This is not democracy. This is an aberration. Our electoral system is nothing. Our Senate is nothing. Our judiciary is in the pocket of the executive. Except we should do... We should listen to the voice of reason. We should not mind this other dog. We are leading him as three. And they've led so many government astray. Psychophants who don't tell government the truth and they allow people to rule and become infamous. Mm. So, people should listen to a person, you should listen to him. But, you should listen to him. Thank you. He's an international figure. Thank you very much. I will school. Thank you very much. Yeah. Your point is well made. Right. Right. Right after this, sir, please. No problem. Hello? Hello, uh, good day. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I'm Raymond from Joss. Raymond Joss. How is Joss doing? Very fine. Very cold? Yes. All right. I hope you are ready for the cold. Yes. Okay, let's go now. Yeah. Okay. I, I have one problem with, uh, with, with our country. We, we bring our issue publicly. Hmm. Our passenger was once the president. any president privately. If you see other countries, you don't see their matter or hear ex-president advising uh, serving president publicly. You see, we should learn how to hide our dirty lineage from the eyes of the public. That is why Nigeria in the global world has no regard or respect. If a person don't want to advise anybody, he has access to access 
like, cause you can't tell me no matter how difficult Nigeria is, President Tumubu have done good in one way or the other. Just like uh, his predecessor, Gwari, they have done good in one way or the other. Not every time we preach. Let's, let's comment sometimes. Thank you. And Thank you so much. Know. Thank you, Raymond. Yeah? So, uh... No problem. <laughs> I love that. All movie. right. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, this is Mr. Sockers coming from Abuja. Sockers, right? Yes, Mr. Sockers. Oh. I want to first of all thank you guys for your program and congratulate uh, Mr. Obise Saul being there with you. Okay. Uh, his position on this matter. Uh, Robert and Joe was once our president, and uh, I don't think what he has done better than what is on ground. So you don't need to come publicly to blame anybody. You understand? Yeah. If you want to advise anybody, you go privately and advise, advise the person not to come in public and start writing open letters and all those in this position. The of them is a senior citizen. He is doing this to cause other panic and other things in the country. All right. Thank you so much. Young ones, when we hear from old people like that, we expect them to be more cordial in what they do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so now, uh, it's, you have heard the various. Um, I, I love the side. I love the. I love the angle that one of the contributors said that um, if you want to criticize, first of all, highlight a few things that the guy has done right. And I, and I love that because basically the truth really is that all of the presidents they've had some things that they got right. It's just that some got many more right than, than the other. So you can just, you, uh, even you have to research it to find out what this person has done, right? So, okay, on this particular policy, fantastic. On this one, good. Kudos. That, because to be very honest to you, whether you see it or not, how it's been implemented is a different ballgame. Removal of subsidies is a good thing. Okay. Nobody could do it, but this guy braced it. Now, whether um, the, it should have been better planned, when to do it, and all of that, those are another discussion entirely. But he, he actually came out and he got it done. You could tell him that look, you braced it and you're able to do this. Then, wh whether we saw it or not, that the, uh, the local government autonomy could come at his time. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't want to, oh, I don't want to have food show that with the yeah, governors because the governors were just at the time they, they were really the high and mighty. You, you, you yeah, to yeah, I do, yeah. I do. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh no, we lost that. Go oh, on. Okay. So, so for me is to first of all take a few things that you've done right. You've done here, you've done that, but you know something. I think you need to put your mind. I mean, you need to put your attention here. Now, I also, I, I know the side of those who feel like whatever you want to say, just go say it in the private. It's okay. Like I said, initially when I started, I said he has his own pros and cons. He still has a call. Yeah. We're, we're going to be having quite a lot today. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. What's the name, sir? And where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, the My name is Itumufina uh, Joshua Tamale. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Go on. Yes, sir. Sir, what I want to contribute to this matter is this. You see, uh, things sir, uh, whether the first uh, Ambassador Joe was wrong or right, you see, we let judge the state of things we are. What can be done right? Not every president's uh, presidency will be responding. Correct. If somebody said your mouth is smelling, it's for you to check whether you smell it, so that you can go and brush it up. You can go and brush it up. Do that reality. Make, no, everything is not politics. And that is where Nigerians are getting problems from our leaders. Please let them do the needful. People are dying, people are suffering. God bless you. Thank you so much. I like that. Yeah. I mean, right to the point, <laughs> and then we don't have to probe him. We don't have to. That's it, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, he says, not everything is politics. Correct. You know, I don't know, maybe by my upbringing, I also believe so much in that you, you must be open to criticism. You Correct. must be ready. Correct. Whereas a father, 
even in your house, yeah. or as a brother to yeah. some siblings. Let, let's let's do this. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mohammed, you're welcome. How is about you today? Mohammed, lost him. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. Go on, please. This is Anthony Okogidi calling from Denmark. Okogidi. Go on, I like the name. All right. The issue there, sir, is not about Obasanjo or the president. We have all have issues concerning our leadership. What the masses hope now is the way forward. There is hungry, the hunger in the land, and people are suffering. Let them do the needful, and let the people get what is right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Solution. That's it. Yeah. We should be solution focused right Fine. now. We should Fine. be solution focused. Fine. And like the other man said, uh, Tamari, uh, uh, Joshua Tamari or something, yeah. uh, everything is not politics. Yeah. Uh, like I was saying before the, I took that call, I believe that we definitely would have to be criticized from time to time. And uh, we must be ready to manage it yeah. and to explain certain things. <laughs> Uh, let me repeat ground rule number one that you cut down the volume of your tv set ground rule number two walk away from your tv set ground rule number three get your thoughts together thus far you guys are doing excellently and i hope that we can keep it that way let's take this one now hello good afternoon hello yeah good afternoon yes. Uh, I'm on to Kansas City. From? Uh, you're calling from where? I'm on to Kansas City. Oh, yes, you are called, you're on to Kansas City, yes. Uh, I want to continue to report that go, go, go on, sir. And tell us your name. My name is Kansas All right. And you're calling from where, sir? I don't know. All right. Go on, please. Go on, please. Thank you very much. I like the way you do it. Now, so um, he's saying he's saying it's not everything government should respond. Uh, no, but no. I, I think that what he means is it's not everything government should respond to verbally yeah. because you should respond with action, Correct. with positive action. He hello. Hello. Good afternoon to you. Yeah. Good afternoon to you. And how are you doing today? All right. How's Gwags? Go on, let's have your take. Uh, thank you, thank you, yeah. Your topic sounds very interesting and uh, what committee has the issue about Obasanjo's criticism of the present leadership. I don't think it's different from what the public has been saying. You know, the protests mm -hmm. can't Bad governance. What the work we do is advising about is to change the course of the implementation of these policies. No matter how good policies are, what they need to change on the city really to the extent of people crying out loud and even going out to protest without fear of being killed or being injured. No. Election now, we're talking of post election. Election has gone, 
own individual is gone. So everybody wants to see the leaders of this democracy, which nobody is in. You can't build a nation by punishing the national house. Hmm. You find the question. People put your friend there and face some goodies sometimes. Not all the time. You go hmm. to market today, fried rice it tomorrow, fried rice it then tomorrow, fried rice it. And there's no hope for this price is coming down. I think this is what the market is going to try to, uh, to advise the present leadership about. And remember, whether you go secretly to the president or go openly, advice is advice. It's even better to be done openly so that he the leader understands what is being said we will know the truth that is being said to him. It will change so that others will know that yes, he has been advised. So, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, as far as you are concerned, you don't see anything wrong with what Abbas Sanjo has done, right? I don't see anything wrong. I've told you, it's a stakeholder nation building. We are all stakeholders in this. If the nation fails, we are all fails. It's not only the leader that fails. It's mm. not that everybody is feeling the pain today. It's not only the leader. Mm. Mm. And probably the leader is not even feeling the pain at all. Because they are all good to good for the government from this. All right, thank you so much, Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim, th thank you, thank you for calling in. And enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Thank you, Ibrahim. Thank you. We we'll still take this also. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Uh, that, uh, I feel like I need to argue with some Nigerian. I am not sure that you have observed the rules. The, the, the sound I'm hearing uh, doesn't say that okay. you have done the needful. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Uh, hello? It's getting better. Yes. Go on now. Go on now. Okay. This is uh, Abdullahi from Eswagay from Niger State. Eswagay? Yes, Eswagay from Niger State. Okay. Precisely from Kwantabora. Kwantabora. Okay. Um, yes. Mm, yes. I wouldn't have thought to contest everybody's official. Hello? Go on, sir. Go on quickly. Now, we'll try to begin to round up. Yeah. You, you, you have taken a vote in removing the subsidy. The implementation of the, 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 the other side of implementing the purpose of removal of subsidy should have been properly implemented. Okay, now. now. Because I just have to be able to submit this. The effect of this removal of subsidy is what is bringing the mass Nigerian market into this okay. our topic, okay. into our church.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, you see, you said about, about this same thing too a while ago. Uh, and so I, I like us to talk about it. You said about what the same thing this guy just said, and the previous guy, I think the previous guy also said. No, no, the one before that. Because as far as the Gwags man, Ibrahim, uh, he doesn't see anything <laughs> wrong <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. So now, you said that he took a bold step in removing subsidy, and Correct. that should count for him. Correct. I do not understand how removing subsidy without its f proper implementation can be counted as as a point because i mean it's it's not i mean if you the whole essence of removing subsidy is to make life better isn't it sure yes we also understand that the effects will not come immediately but at least the 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 comforting sides the 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 palliatives could have come even with the announcement on the same day and we could have seen some action in that direction. Now, if you talk about it's a fantastic uh, thing that has been boldly carried out, and yet a year after, some of the palliative uh, 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 whatever has have not been implemented. The CNG the other day I read somewhere in the newspapers that uh, hundred thousand vehicles have been uh, have been attended to uh, uh, CNG wise, and I knew I know factually that this country has about 15 million vehicles so if you do 100,000 in a year you've really done nothing so if we do 100 per year how many years will it take for <laughs> how many years will it take for us to do 10 million for example yeah uh -huh. so you'll be talking like um, about a hundred years no so i i think that we need to be um if we say yes everybody expected all the parties did say that they were going to remove subsidy but the how is as important as the action itself. Yeah. So, um, so, so just before you respond, please, yeah. please, you are going to have to yeah. respond to that. Uh, Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. What's the name? Where are you calling from? I'm um, Abang. Your Abang. You're welcome. Your own is not Abadi. I would have said Abadi. Go on, please. Uh, mm. I don't have the opportunity to come on air because we have said what the person has said. Because we are in, we are in the government of uh, the people. Freedom of speech. Yeah, every freedom is uh, curtailed by, by some responsibility. Go on, go on. Okay. So, I don't have that opportunity. People are dying. Oh no, you, you, I'm sorry, but it's not a person you want to say. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much, Abang. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, so, um, I, I, I feel you. I, mm -hmm. I personally also agree with you that um, the palliative and the, the measures to be able to actually ameliorate the pains and all that should have really been out by now, correct? Um, but I would, I would say something that um, it is not that um, the, the effort has not been made, no. But I have to tell you, you see, if you don't look very closely, you will not see the effort. This guy came coming on board. He first of all gave money to all of the state governors to be able to actually douse the pain. Okay. We didn't get anything from that. You see, Nigeria is such a complex place I agree. where you are you're dealing with economic solutions, you're dealing with political solutions, you're dealing with quite a number of solutions all at the, at same, the same time. time. Mm. So if you're not looking very carefully to get because if the guy had not done that one, the political uh, people will not allow him to have succeeded because the governors are the way of ganging against. And to say anything you want to do in this state, please let it go through us. So the guy tried it the first one. Okay, you guys are able to handle your state. Take this. He shared five billion, ten billion all, all over the state. But there is very little or nothing that was to done show. around that to show for that. So the guy learned his lesson. Okay, if I want to get things done, the governors may not be the best way to go. 
so I may have to go to the next layer. Maybe that's even the reason why he pushed why through he this uh, local government stuff. He realized that the people really need to feel this impact, yeah. and he needed to just he needed to cut away the local government so that they can be on their own. On their own. You see, so when, when, when um, you, which is what the ideal situation ought to have been all the while. Correct. Hello. Hello. Good Hello. afternoon. Yeah. What's the name? Open away. What's the name? And what's the name? Your name? Hmm. <laughs> you, you know, so so for me, usually what I'm seeing. Who are the who are the open away? Is, <laughs> is, is, is it Kitty or Obeno? <laughs> Yeah, so, but, but, but generally, all, all, all we're just trying to say here is that sincerely, no matter because we almost must, must pick the blame that there are no CNG buses rolling everywhere, there's no way to be able to actually cut down on the pains of the people. He picks the bill and he has already told the mass, he said, Look, don't pity me, tell I mean, give me the heat. If he has said it publicly, so I don't even see why I mean, whatever Obasanjo has said, he said, Don't pity me, I ask for the job. And um, I, I, will, I will take the pain. Mm -hmm. I will take it. So he should have actually taken taken that in good stride. In good stride. Because Abbas Abdel is one of his uh, of, of the uh, citizens of this country. <laughs> and like the like, 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 from 20 percent where we are to 30 the next person will not have to go and start from 20 again we start from 30 Thanks. to 40 and then we keep taking our country out of the of, 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 of the, the of, yeah of the dog so but if people are thinking it's all politics and all that it's not correct you must learn where politics stops and governance starts you know and uh, for me really i i still give it to him that it he, he was bold enough to take that step there were there were three four things that this guy has done that nobody had been able to do before him the first was the removal of subsidy yeah. the second one was the floating of denial i mean they said talk, talking about the exchange rate mm. to say you know what we cannot have a situation where exchange rate benefit a few and then they do a round tripping of it Somebody will go and will sell to him at 400, and then the other one you said is 800. The 400 guy will buy it. In fact, everybody else will go and sell it. I'm just selling to the 800. So you are just, <laughs> you just created a billion years. Wait, 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 wait a minute, please. Hello? <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> now, so. Uh, so you created billion years among your just a few clicks. He just were just rolling in, in billions and all of them. They take it and sell it and take it. That's but the final analysis. Yeah. Are we better off? Because now, what it has led to the flotation mm -hmm. there has led to the ballooning. Mm -hmm. No, no. Are you not seeing that the the curve that was like this initially is beginning to to find its way up? You are not seeing it. I am seeing it, man. Uh, hello. <coughs> Good afternoon. Yeah, can you move away from your TV set? Tell us your name once again. You said you're calling from Lagos State, right? I guess that's a problem. Mm. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, so so for so, so, so you said the the curves are are getting better. I'm telling you, it's getting better. I, well, you, okay, somebody just uh, recently said that. Look, even the fuel is going down. You see, we must take, we must look at what happened to our to our um uh, what's it called now, um, internet. You know, in terms of calls and all of that, yeah. the the the, uh, the 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 provider. Yeah. You know, the service provider. Telecommunication. Yeah. Tel yeah. Telecommunication stuff. Initially, for you to buy just a, a SIM, was 30,000. And for you to put a small 3310, mm. that uh, phone or whatever, yeah. or whatever, about 150,000. So, they look at it right now. Nobody will even collect that phone in your hand. First. For now. <laughs> and the, the, the SIM is almost free. 1,000 hour, you get a SIM and then you're running. Right I now, the thing hit the roof. Before, we had epileptic. Uh, 500,000 lines right now we have millions over 100 million lines active so all i'm saying there is that 
You see, when when you are going to take a very bold step, initially those people ah, why not give it to MT? Let MT. They say no, 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 no. I'm going to I'm going to um, open up this space, and that was all done. And right now we are reaping it. The same thing. I want to see a couple of things being done. Um, it, it should be done in the electricity side. It should be done in a few stuff where you open up the space. For others to come in i love the fact that yeah that may be the first person that is coming in in terms of uh, uh i'll take you upon that after this call yeah hello hello good afternoon good afternoon How's everything? very good come come on before you is not talking emotion at all <laughs> all right so it's right is it First of all, you know what? You better, you better, you better, hold on. You hold on now. You you. Mm, don't Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Now, we, we need to follow the rules. You, we need to know who's calling and where you're calling from. It's very important. Uh, you can't call anonymously. Uh, no. So, and you can insist on your own way, own way. We, 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 we do this together. Please, as much as possible, tell us your name, identify yourself, identify where you're calling from, and take up all the other rules, uh, cut down the volume of, of your TV set, walk away from your TV set, ensure that um, you articulate your points quickly, uh, so your brother can also call in. Good afternoon. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello? 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 But we can't do this if you do not cut the Hello, Ibrahim. Yeah. You want us to do this successfully, you will need to walk away from your TV set and cut down the volume of your TV set. Right, go on, go on now. It's for your sake and for all of us so that we can hear you clearly. The world wants to listen to you, you know. Go on. The chiefs are down now. All right. Ibrahim, do call us back. I'm sure it will be better then, because you're not. Nobody is hearing what you're saying. Oh God! Oh no! It's, it's painful. Yeah. Just, just call back in a minute or so, a minute or two. Yeah. So, um, I was saying, um. You were saying that the way things are right now, it looks as though it's not going to be only Dangote who's going to do a private trifunery. No, good. But there, there's this narrative also that um, these things have been done deliberately to uh, make that business to come into the hands of a few. That the whole purpose, the whole purpose of not attending to our refineries for over 20 years is what is playing out right now. That if if a Dangote could fix the refinery, I mean, could build a refinery in about the space of about five years or thereabouts, how come our government, with all the resources, with all the channels of borrowing, with all the, I mean, everything, I mean, a nation state could not repair, not build now, but repair at least one of those refineries over this period of 20 years? That it's deliberate the same way it looks as though 
uh, public education has been systematically destroyed so that people can turn it into businesses even though those are some of the services that ought to be um, um, uh, primary services uh, uh, if, if you get what I mean sure sure let, let me just tell us let me tell us something a dangote he gives directive to his workers yeah to the entire Spectrum, staff yeah of whatever it's, it's, it comes there is a, is a line thing he owns it he, he bears the, the the brunt whether it goes right or wrong yes but when it comes to a country it's a different it's a different leadership structure is that is is that a positive commentary no 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 all i'm saying all, I'm, I'm only helping us to see that if you find a dangote who can run a successful refinery mm. it doesn't mean that the same and the government will be able to do same effectively and i'm asking way. why no, but and I'm that asking, is, and I'm asking the, the is it so? No, 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 no. The issue there, whether you can see, whether you like it or not, there are countries around the world who still have their hands. Those in countries go and check that they have. They don't have this level of literacy that we have. They do not have 15 million out of school children. They don't have the the the, 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 the divide among all of the six geopolitical zones. They don't have the the level of subs. Um, uh, um, suspicion that we have. No, you I see, the, the, what I'm trying to let you know is that know where you are in the curve and make the most at that time. You know, I, for I now, that for now, yeah, that that thing is is doing refinery. That's okay. What I'm just saying is that let let the policy be clear. The, the policy of being able to deregulate that very uh, sector so that more persons can come in. I was oh, giving you, money, I was giving you that of yeah. the the the, um, the telecom the telecom stuff. Yeah. And we got it right from the telecom. Whatever has been done in the telecom to have gotten it right, we have not done same well in the oil, oil and gas. We've not. Okay. Because uh, I mean, there was a, there was a discourse at some point. We are still we, we still don't want to let go. Uh, the president cannot be the minister for 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 petroleum. No. But is the minister of petroleum? He is. Okay. But it will be effective. How many times will they be able to have access to the president? Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Wow. What's happening to your call? Um, this is Ezekiel from Aquaibom. Uh, what happened? Okay. So, 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 for, so for me, uh, I'm, I'm just saying, let's, let's focus on, like, if there's something that is called sequencing. If, even if you want to do 100 things. They must follow it. Yeah, a certain. One, one minute. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, how are you doing today? Fine. Yeah. I have the Great. And, and what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Ake. Calling from Kano. From Kano. My uh, yes. My advice is that Chinobu uh, should try to be listening to poor people. People are dying. You hmm. can't avoid killing them, killing them of food now. When you get the, the money on in the night, leave you, leave your no leave you. So people are dying. Please, you should listen to everybody. Thank you. God Thank you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> they, they basically, <laughs> people are dying. That, that's the that's the truth. You <laughs> know, um, that's why. I, I expected really a whole lot more. You know, when I heard um, the the uh, Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, I turned up. I said, "Correct, you got it." But really, the food security were not taken very um, seriously enough because more should have been done so that people so that it, because the moment you can have food security, you have actually you've won the war in security. You've won it over sixty percent. You know that's why it sounded very absurd that the government should get angry about people protesting uh, over hunger because i mean from all the indices from all the um, um f information on the street and the media i think it's clear that this is one of the times where I, there has I'm been i'm not sure that the government serious level no, no, i'm not sure that the government is angry about uh, about protests on about hunger no no no, no. i'm what, not sure what, i'll what, tell you what, what man said you want to protest about hunger fantastic but how do we do this so that those who the mischief will not infiltrate your ranks? That's all. Mm -hmm. And the, the, they said, look, for, for us to be able to achieve this, one way that they were looking at 
would have actually been that you have a place where you stay. Look at this, bring back our, our girls. Mm. They have this unity center or something. There they stay, they carry their plaque. You know, all of the media and all that, they'll go and interview, they'll go and talk to them, they'll go and see whatever they are saying. And it goes around the world. Any, say, any, um, any notable figure that goes there to meet them, why they meet? Well, well because it's a different thing now. The if, they, if they keep going around the streets, some people will come over there, cause fight, cause all So it becomes a very diffi a, a difficult situation is, to manage. The truth is, that will mean it brings the question of the effectiveness of our security apparatus. Correct. You must be able to sift the criminal. Uh, out of the um, uh, innocent uh, protesters, yeah, and as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Uh, um, now, what's your parting shot, even as we leave uh, very shortly, what's your parting shot, and particularly concerning the way the media handlers, uh, you, 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 you didn't get around yeah. to saying... All right, so for me, I want to really... Somebody has said it. I just want to tell us that, look, let President Tinubu please open your mind to criticism and take it in good stride you understand let's let's um yes let's let's hear not everything you respond to not everything you react to. you respond to it but don't react don't react, to it. Don't react to it but respond to it so you go back and then go look at whatever whatever is being said and and take what what is um what you can use at that particular time and start doing something and that that really will be good and more specifically for his anglers i see some of his anglers they they, they are too in trying to serve their masters they are, they have some kind of energy at which they go is, about is, is that some of our zealousness or yes of our zealousness i, I think by that they, there's a way you can even oh, we, we've heard, we're going to look at the ones that we can take right now we're going to see the one that we'll be taking later we're going to see the one that really we may not be able to handle right now and that's fine yeah because but for, for you to say hey what did you do at your time then, come on man don't, don't let us repeat. so no if if you didn't do anything at his time are we going to remain there do we also want to repeat i, I wonder if we go is ahead. that what we want to do even if you never did anything so, 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 Thank you, Ambassador Bishop, for thank coming. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you very much to the production team. Yeah. Thanks to the producer. Yeah. Thank you, wonderful viewers and the callers of all of, from all, all around Nigeria, yeah. eh, from Ikole Kiti, from Benue, from uh, Guagualada, from everywhere, from Joss, Raymond, from Joss, and so on, from Cross River. I really want to say a big up to every one of you. Thank you for being there. Now, we must be out. Thank you. <laughs>